Thanks. A plan to repurpose an old church in downtown Bartlesville hits a big roadblock. The First Christian Church closed its doors in April and gave the building to the city. But the plan to turn it into a convention center is just too expensive. News on 6's Grant Stevens explains what could come next. Grant? Well, that's the big question, Jonathan. What's coming next here? Those high costs have put any projects to renovate it on hold, at least for now. But the city councilors hope the private sector has more answers. While the church sat vacant over the last few months, the city of Bartlesville has been putting together plans for what it could become. We wanted to retain some of the architecture, so we were hoping to keep the chapel and then maybe remove other parts of the building and build a conference center in and around it. That was the hope, but Bartlesville Vice Mayor James Curd says the city council got some bad news this week. The main one was the price tag of about $17 million, so we, would, we were hoping it was somewhere considerably less than that, but with the design and the demolition and things like that, the costs go up. Curd says the feasibility study found that a convention space this size is needed, but it also showed how costly it would be. We're looking for some alternatives, and at our meeting last night, we discussed uh, the idea of uh, putting out some RFPs or some requests for proposals for uh, the area. Curd says the building is in a prime spot, right next to the community center and the arts district. We've had several people looking at it already. The city plans to put out requests for proposals from private businesses or individuals who have a plan for how to use the space, which could mean anything from events to hotels. Some additional ideas that the building could be used for over the short term, near term, mid term, long term, just to see that we could get the building occupied and back in service. If one of those proposals is approved by the city, it's agreed to put $2 million towards renovations. But until then, it still sits empty. Live in Bartlesville, Grant Stevens, Oklahoma Zone, News on 6.